just want to put out this perspective because everybody always say, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to all your favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? You go, you got a lot of people that you you think sexy. You, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't mind getting to know better, whatever the case may be. But do you want the other problems that that happens when you dealing with an artist? I, I be always saying to myself, I'm like, are these women really ready to deal with me? It's not even about dealing with me on on on, on a personal level. It's like it's almost to the point where dealing with the fans. Are you strong enough to? You know what I'm saying, understand, I got a fan, baby. Right? Are you strong enough to say, okay, yeah, I do have to take this time out to show love to the people who supported me and paying my bills. You feel what I'm saying? Because apparently, I have thus far <laughs> met a woman that can, you know, what I'm saying sustain the, the the ability to be with me. You feel me? And I'm a good dude. I think I'm dope. You feel what I'm talking about? I think I'm I'm very, very dope. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. But I do have a lot of great qualities. You feel me? But I started to see when I get involved with these women, they 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 just they like the fact that they with MV at first. This 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 the it's their hottie, you know what I'm saying? I guess they thinking yes, I got him, I got him. But then it gets to the point to where now they starting to watch my Facebook, starting to watch why I ain't responding. They posts and shit. The, the shit is starting to get weird. What I'm saying is just my track record alone. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it. And I'm, most of the women that I'm talking about is in Atlanta. You get with the boy, but you don't know how to keep the boy. You know what I'm saying? And I and I always say to myself, and then they be talking about, well, you got too many uh, fans that's women. Like, I can't pick and choose my fans. Like, what the fuck? You can't pick and choose your fans. I'm glad I got a female fan base. I'm glad females think I'm cute or whatever else or whatever they want to say. And I'm glad they buying the product. I can't choose my fans. But a lot of women that's insecure about themselves, man, I'm telling you, bro, I go through this shit, bro. I go through it. You know what I'm talking about? I go through it. So sometimes it just make me just give up on the situation. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? You knew what, what was going on when you met me. You feel me? You knew that this is what I did. It's very apparent. I've been doing this shit for 15, 16 years. You know who you what you getting yourself into. I just need a strong woman. Because a lot of y'all say, a lot of y'all be wanting to get with the entertainer or whatever the case may be, but y'all don't know how to maintain the entertainer or keep him. You feel me? You know? Shout out to Miss Lady, though. The last little, you know what I'm saying, the situation I thought that we were building, but she ended up, I think she, I think she felt like she won. Like she got me, she fit, and then she backed away with all the stuff that I really actually, cause I'm low maintenance. I'm low maintenance, y'all. I'm low maintenance. When I say low maintenance, I, it don't take much to make me happy. You feel me? Low maintenance. Don't take much to make me happy, but, but at the same time, we all got a job to do. You feel me? I got to make sure that I keep you happy and you satisfied. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you got them on point with me. But I'm low maintenance. I don't need much. But I do demand respect. Demand respect. Come and give you that same respect back. You feel what I'm saying? But again, a lot of women, man, I, 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 and I'm finally understanding. It's an, it's an intimidation factor when, when you're dealing with me. I get it. It's an intimidation factor. Because... If you are with me, right, and we together, and my fans is showing way more love to me, buying merchandise, doing all this stuff, and I'm sitting here what, sharing my stuff, doing all these things. So now you figuring in your mind, if you with me, like, damn, I got to do this too now because shit, his fans is sharing shit, and I ain't even doing that. I ain't sharing a motherfucking thing, but his his fan doing it now. He gonna look at me crazy. So that gives that puts pressure on a woman that this should all she, you should already want to do this to support your man, to support your king. You feel what I'm saying? That shouldn't be no pressure. I shouldn't have to tell you, babe. 
You know, we together, you should share my shit. Support it. But that intimidation factor, you feel me? It's just one of them things to where they be like, now they got to go on Facebook and see all the fans that's showing love to the king, to the boy. You know what I'm saying? And then they feel like they got to do something extra. Just do you. Be you. But at the same time, show love to the king. Don't don't be trying. You don't got you not you not going to win with the fans. The fans going to always be on another level when it comes to me. But at the same time, what separates you from the fans is how you treat me. On a personal level, I'm in the bed with you. I'm in the thing. You know I mean, these fans ain't these fans ain't in the bed with the boy. They be real club. They not in the bed with the boy. So that should that tell you that should tell you something psychologically, mentally. I'm in a different space, Doug. B, you in a different space. You in a different space than the fans. So you can't compete with no fans. Charlie got to the point where she was trying to compete with the fans, and that that drove me crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, I had to throw the deuce up at that situation, even though it was a great situation. Charlie had bread. Charlie had, you know what I'm saying? All her shit, the ducks in order. But it for me, you know, I want you to have your shit together, but your mind got to be together too. Just because your finances are straight don't mean shit. What about your mental? Hell, I got to lay down with your crazy age. You feel what I'm saying? I'm laying down here with one eye over one eye closed, not knowing what the fuck you capable of. You feel me? And I got some big eyes, and I'm watching your ass, too. What the fuck? <laughs> for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You can have all the goddamn finances in the world, goddamn, but what's up with your mental stability? Something ain't right with the mind. But well, why you ain't, um... Uh, why you ain't tell me good morning? Why you ain't click on my shit first before you click up? My nigga, we're right here, nigga. My elbow touches your belly, babe. What? This is cyber world. You focusing on got in the cyber world? Yo, where the fuck the psychology, the psych, what? Bitch, you need help. I know you get a couple of checks, but God damn it, you need a real one crazy chick. Straight up. And that's what I be told man. Like, I worked hard to, to get the attention and the love of you from you all. But at the same time, man, y'all to be strong enough to be like, that nigga duh is with me. That nigga duh gonna ride for me. Yeah, he got to show love to his fans because those are the ones who pay the bills. Those are the ones who seen his potential way back when. But at the same damn time, Get your shit together mentally. Like, you really pushing me the fuck away instead of bringing me closer to your ass. Like, when we was elbows right now, I'm running to go, what the fuck? You talking about Facebook? Like, this is what we doing? Girl, you won the sweepstakes. The fuck you talking about? You won the sweepstakes. You got the boy. Still ain't enough, though, mentally. Yeah, you got him. He right there snoring and shit. Cause I'm on that drink snoring in there. You got that nigga. <laughs> you seen him at his 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 most vulnerable moment. But that still ain't enough for you. So you asking questions about my good morning world. A nigga like me get tired of like when I think, all right, there's the right one right here. This is one, this the one right here now. She got a shit together. You know what I'm saying? She, she got the vibe. She. Then I t Facebook made bitches crazy though. Excuse my language. I'm just being honest with y'all. Facebook made motherfuck. They bring out the real in them. They, they cause cause they go and look at the Facebook and they go to seeing the women watching and the women, different women from black to white, to all kind of stuff. And then they feel like they gotta compete with that shit. Nah, you ain't gotta compete with that. You already don't want the sweepstakes. You don't want it. You don't scratched off the winner. So why do you feel like you got to compete with Facebook fans, man? That's just crazy. So, and, and I've been going through this my whole damn life. Ever since I got on TV, ever since I first wrapped the ball, ever since I got down, you know what I'm saying? Um, I knew that my life was going to be different when it came to women. I already knew my fan base is females. You know what I'm saying? I already knew that it's going to have to take a certain type of woman 
to understand what the shit is and what I built. What for the, the clothing line, the marketing company, the goddamn, the, the, the you know, TV show, the movies. The, 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 it's gonna take a special type of woman to understand this shit. But I don't want no retarded ass woman. Though. Excuse my language. No, you can't say retarded in 2020. No, don't y'all don't counsel me. <laughs> don't counsel me. It's going to take somebody that different that understand, okay, he just doing what he's doing. He you know what I'm saying, but this has nothing. What he's established and what he's created for himself has nothing to do with me. If I'm not in his life to enhance what he's already done, then I'm really taking away from him. This man got no kids, no felony, 41 years old, and still out here getting it. But what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is when I bring my resume and what I bring to the fucking table to any situation, any relationship, you got to be able to handle the damn fans. You know what the fuck you getting into. You know this. You know that goddamn, they, 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 they call the little boy, little big, little bad, big, no, but he cute. He little handsome ass, little boy. You know that. So, you know I'm out here selling my merch. You know I'm out here goddamn doing what I pulled to do as an entertainer. And get on this motherfucker entertaining y'all right now on that line. You know what I'm doing. Why are you trying to get up and ask me 55 million motherfucking questions about the fans when you should be focusing on me and you? Hmm? That's the key. It don't, it up relationships, man. It take two. It take two to be in a relationship. You can always got down. Uh, if you think it's about you and you get in a relationship, you're going to find yourself by yourself in a whole damn relationship. You be in a ghost relationship now. Because your other, your significant other is in their own world. You feel me? So it take two to be in a relationship. That's just real facts, y'all. It take two. So me, now I got to dumb myself down because of insecurities. I got to dumb myself down to my lady because, baby, I'll take you to the studio with me. You feel me? If you think anything going on, I'll take you to the studio with me. Or, baby. I'm not going to go live and talk to the fans tonight because I see you and your motherfucking feelings. You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, I pulled the... Nigga, we in Corona. We in Corona. I pulled to be able to reach out to my fan, to sell my merchandise, to, to promote my website, to do the shit that pulled to make me... Long time ago, pulled to be a motherfucking millionaire. Long time ago. But I get with these women... And I try to be so, I mean, I try to be patient with them. Lord knows, in the name of Jesus, I try to be patient with them. And it always fails. Oh, Lord have mercy. Like, I, I, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but man, y'all remember when I had a, got a, a whole damn hair store? A lot of y'all that been watching me, I had a whole hair store in Tennessee. I put the bag on one of these little shoulders, man. This shit didn't even pan out. That was ten thousand dollars going down the goddamn drain. Trying to get a hair store, cause that's what she wanted. And putting my putting myself second again. Every time I've ever gotten in a relationship, I'm always second because I wanna I already know I got my career. My shit is already established. I already know what I'm doing. I'm good. I wanna see the best in you. I wanna see you goddamn shine. I wanna see you boss up. I'm already good. I don't give a damn if it's never caught there. I know how to pick up a motherfucking phone and say, come get me. Huh? Think it's a game. I don't travel the world like that. But you can't be jealous of your man. If that's your man, if that's your man, y'all call each other boyfriend and girlfriend, his success should be your success. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever I bring to the table is yours. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't understand that. What I'm trying to do is I'm already straight. I already got a pension plan. I already got all this shit set up. For if I ever get off this earth, my mom and them going to be straight. All my Everything I've done in life will make sure that they pay forever. Unless I get married. And then that's got to be a negotiation thing. We, I hope that... My future wife will look at my mom and be like, I'm going to help. I'm going to help her out. But other than that, I'm straight. I got songs right now playing. Man, look little help. I'm straight. I'm sick. When, when I say 
let's build together. Like I, I created Benny Photography for y'all that know they see them nice pictures. I created Benny Photography. Things didn't work out. I've always tried to be a, a a leader to some to to my ladies and show them that yeah, you might be a nurse or yeah, you might be doing this, but have a backup plan. Don't dwell or don't you know what I'm saying depend on these corporations to make sure that you paid. Be your own boss. And that's what I always try to tell each and every one of these women that have ever been with in life. Straight up. Be your own boss. And with the mindset that I've always had, I ain't, I don't think I'm wrong for it. Because if I can enhance and I can see some talent in you, what that's going to do is, is spark me. It's going to make me feel good about assisting you in the bigger picture. Because I, I don't think that, you know what I'm saying, working for these corporations is not going to do us no good. I just think that they're going to be the ones always cleaning up, making all the millions, and we're going to be the ones just being workers. And I've never wanted to be a fucking worker. I always wanted to be a boss. That's what I set out to do a long time ago, 15 years ago. Bossing up. Black ownership. Owning some shit. Doing boss shit. Creating your own goddamn, you know what I'm saying, schedule. Waking up in the morning, you know what I'm saying, having your own... I'm not just talking this shit. I'm just being dead ass. Not just... Y'all know what I'm talking about, goddamn it. Those were a few... That was about three or four computers. And I got I got my, my 50 inch... Uh, I turned that bitch to a computer. I kind of want to see. Nigga getting blind. But in a way, what I'm saying is, that's what it should be about. And if somebody is trying to teach you how to boss up, you shouldn't be jealous of that. You should just be like, you know, I see you, I see you, boo. I see what you're trying to do. I see where you're going. And I'm gonna be like, hey, you ain't gotta be, you know what I'm saying, jealous of these girls, man. All these girls is just what they is. I need them in my life based off of how they provide. They love me. They love the music. They love the swag. They love everything they bought. They bought it to my campaign. But why am I sitting here trying to discuss fans to a girl that posed the rock with the boy? Huh? Because these fans was here before you got here. So now you, are, you, you, you trying to tell me you want me to choose. And you just got here now from 15-year fans. And you just got here? It's a tough task. It's a tough task, and I'm not I'm not willing. I'm not willing. I'm not willing. I'm not willing. So I, I, I think that it will definitely take a strong woman that very, very confident in who she is as a woman, first of all. You know what I'm saying? A, a woman, a strong woman has a lot of attributes that I, is actually a turn on for me. But you got to know what the fuck going on up here. You got to goddamn be on point up here for me to even see the rest. Your mindset got to be straight. I don't want to hear nothing about no motherfucking Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, these are businesses. I use these shit as businesses for me. This is opportunities along with my website. Don't be telling me no shit about I seen somebody talk. Man, look, bro, you stressing me out now. It's already hard enough being an entertainer. It's not the easiest life. And especially if you've been doing this shit as long as I have. You are no man, bro, this shit. You can be hot today, gone tomorrow. But it's all about a balance. You ain't got to be the hottest nigga in the street, but long as you making income, you still can take care of your people. So you still can take care of your family. I ain't talking about being no millionaire. Man, it's a lot of money out there. You don't got to be a millionaire to have money. Let me tell y'all this one more time. You don't have to be a millionaire to have money. As long as you know how to budget your shit, you good. It's motherfuckers out here that make a two, or two, two or three hundred thousand dollars a year, and they broke as hell after they pay all their expenses. But it's motherfuckers out here making three thousand dollars a month, or two thousand dollars a month. And living their life because they don't have a lot of expenses. You understand what I'm saying? You can make $75,000 and look like you're a rich ass motherfucker. Let's be real clear. 
Because you you ain't got all these goddamn bills and you ain't just trying to live like the damn Joneses. You comfortable in your own skin. But this motherfucker that make a two and three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars, you got your house, you got it, but boy, you struggling. And that's why a lot of them motherfuckers get goddamn divorced and broke up. Because those finances they're trying to live these great lives that they live in and they faking. It's just a matter of time for that shit crash. So for me, I always try to establish backup plans, backup businesses, backup different things because music ain't gonna always sell. I don't know where this shit gonna go at, to be honest with you. In the way the corona, they ain't filming no more. God damn it, this shit them you still can watch the show, but shit, nigga, you you gotta damn near know somebody, know somebody. <laughs> I ain't even with act this shit right now because of corona. I don't wanna be riding no motherfucker right now. So it's a lot of things, but I, I set myself up. I've been creating my own website. I've been had my shit popping. I've been selling my shirts, hats, or whatever, merchandise. So that's what keeps me afloat until this shit die down. When this shit, when the world get back going on, that's when you're going to see me goddamn lit. I unleash the goddamn dragon on the air. Cisco, straight up. They're going to see me, but right now, I'm working out. I'm working out. Get my strategy together, making sure that my backup plans, which is uh, NB Promotions, my website still looking up to par, and just creating music. Just drop the new single, put it on me, doing numbers. So drinks on me don't came back. And now people are like, damn, we want to hear drinks on me? Nigga, go ahead. That, that The streaming numbers that went up on drinks on me. So I'm like, I, I had them forgot all about that goddamn song, to be honest with you. Because I'm on that, put it down on me, me. Put it on me, me when I get you back to my crib, I might have to get that D. Now put it, now, uh, so I'm on that, I'm swagging on that right now, but shit. Drinks on me don't want to go nowhere. It's telling y'all, we here to stay, bruh. We here to stay, so I love that energy, I love the fans, man, I love it. But my whole thing is, damn, but where the strong women at that could deal with that goddamn shit, boy. And I ain't talking about just being strong, just being strong, I'm talking about mentally. That mental, that mind is something else. You could be strong, but you could be cray cray. <laughs> you could be strong, but you still have cray cray. And I can't deal with cray cray. I can have you as my friend, cray cray, but you can't be my girl, cray cray. Mm -mm. I have to go through too much in my business world, in my business life, to deal with cray cray. No, shit, I'm cray. So why would I have to deal with cray cray? Not happening. <laughs> you feel me? But anyway, man, it was a joy to talk to y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, MB, man. Damn, where the strong women at? I'm out. Hey. I beat you from a distance. I scope you because I'm a gunner. Can I buy you a drink at the bar? Drink at the bar. I'm the rapper slash singer. I'm known for making bangers. Just know he rolling with the stars. You can have a drink, drink, drink on me. Come and have a drink, drink.